We just hit 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. So it made sense to make a video about 50 Stardew Valley facts. These facts are going to start off as pretty simple common knowledge facts. But they will get very obscure and strange. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Alright, let's get started. Stardew Valley was developed by a single person concerned ape. He coded the entire game by himself, made the art and even the music a very impressive feat. Stardew Valley has a ridiculously comprehensive character creation system. There are two genders, 24 skin tones, 73 hairstyles, 112 shirts, 4 pants, and 20 accessories. Plus, you can color each item with a RGB color picker. If you use Concerned Ape or Stardew Valley as your favorite thing in character creation, you will get a special message whenever you find a star job. There are two ways to progress in Stardew Valley. You can either use the power of Junimos to restore the community, or you can sell out to the mega corporation and just buy your way through the game. Based on Steam achievement stats, 18% of Stardew Valley players have completed the community center, while only 3.5% of players have completed the JoJo Mart. The hardest achievement in the game is called Fecta's Challenge that requires you to beat Journey of the Prairie Kings minigame without dying. Only 0.7% of players have completed this challenge. There is a very special combination of keys that will let you cancel animations. Just press the right shift key, the delete key, and the R key at the same time. Timing is important, but this will let you play the game at a ridiculous speed. If you accidentally run out of energy in Sturdy Valley, you will be put in an exhaustive state. This will leave your character walking at a crazy slow speed. Instead of slowly making your way back to your house, it's actually faster to keep using tools until you pass out. Out. If you had a bad day and accidentally died in the mines or accidentally gave Abigail a piece of sap, you need not worry. The game only saves when you sleep, so you can just quit the game and start the day all over again. Stardew Valley has marriage. All you need to do is bribe someone by giving them tons of diamonds until they eventually say yes. You can then have children with your spouse, but you shouldn't rush to have children. They unfortunately can only grow up until they are toddlers. They will remain as toddlers forever, which is extremely disturbing. Luckily for us, we can just turn our children into doves by donating a prismatic shard to this creepy machine that a psycho witch created. After finding secret note number 10 and reaching floor 100 in the skull cavern, you will get some iridium snake milk. This stuff sounds terrible, but it will increase your maximum health by 25. The maximum amount of energy that you can get in the game is 559 with the help of some food buffs. And the maximum number of health that you can obtain is 205 with the Defender Profession at level 10 combat. With the help of Deluxe Fertilizer and Upgraded Farmer's Lunch, you will have a 55% chance to harvest Iridium quality crops. If you are past your third year and you did really well on your farm, these four candles will be lit. Don't forget to click on the altar because you will get a Statue of Perfection. This statue will produce some Iridium or every single day. Many players forget to go and collect their statue. Hammers in Stardew Valley have a hidden move. When you use the special attack, spam the normal attack button as fast as you can. This will cause your special move to deal crazy amounts of damage, decimating anything in your pot. If you need to purchase tons of items really fast, hold down the shift key to purchase 5 items at a time. While you are doing this, hold down the right mouse button to continuously purchase one item at a time. This method of purchasing is really fast. After unlocking the quarry, you can go through a mini cave to find yourself a golden scythe. The golden scythe is not just for show, as it will harvest more hay than the regular scythe when used on wild grass. With the maximum amount of luck bonuses and boosts, you can have a 60% chance of finding a treasure chest when fishing. Happy treasure chest hunting! I have never really heard of people actually using this, but you can transmute ores into higher tiers. For example, you can take 
take two iron bars and turn it into one gold bar. This might actually be useful if you have tons of a specific ore that you do not need. If you plant and harvest seasoned seeds like spring seeds, these seeds will give you foraging experience. You can rapidly boost your foraging experience by doing this. If you combine the auto hook fishing enchant with the barbered hook fishing tackle, you can effortlessly catch fish without even paying that much attention to the game. Junimo chests are pretty cool. They share the contents of every other Junimo chest in the game. Place these into convenient spots around the town with some love gifts in them. Stardew Valley does not have diminishing returns. That means you can completely stack a single stat and get some pretty hilarious results. Since Iridium bars sell for so much, it's actually a viable way to make gold in Stardew Valley. With the blacksmith profession, each Iridium bar will sell for 1,500 gold. You can actually upgrade your trash can. With each upgrade, the items you drop in the bin will give you a percentage of the item's value back in gold. Stardew Valley has a huge range of fishing bait. The description of the magnet says that fish do not like it. However, it will give the same effect on fish as a regular bait, resulting in faster bite when compared to fishing without bait. Geodes are not influenced by luck in any way. Actually, geodes are all predetermined as soon as your save file is created. You can check on the Stardew Valley predictor site when you will get a prismatic shard if you want to. You can use casks to age wine to increase the value. But did you know that you can also age cheese using casks? You can place an end table on another and cause it to flip. This can help you with decorating your farmhouse by hiding the draw on the front of the end table. When combining rings, you can combine two iridium bands with two glowstone rings. All of these effects will stack with each other and you can walk around as the sun. Good for people who are scared of the dark. You can you cannot eat regular mayonnaise, duck mayonnaise, or even dinosaur mayonnaise. But strangely, you can eat void mayonnaise. It will just cause you to lose energy, so you should probably avoid eating it. Junimo huts will cause Junimos to come out and harvest crops within their range. You can block off a single crop and cause your Junimos to stay outside all day. Cruel but cute. After you have found all 8 rare crows, you will be rewarded with the recipe to craft a deluxe scarecrow. This is basically a super scarecrow as they have double the range as regular scarecrows. Very useful for decorating and hiding your scarecrows. Hops is a crop that sells for 25 gold, but hops is one of the most profitable crops in the game when you turn it into pale ale, as pale ale sells for 12 times the amount as the crop it is made from. If you wanted to, you could reskin your infinity blade and make it look like a rusty sword. There is a ring in the game that does absolutely nothing. The topaz ring is supposed to increase the precision of your attacks by 10%, but precision was never implemented in the game. You can place tappers on mushroom trees to produce mushrooms. These will slowly over time start to produce better mushrooms like purple mushrooms. Looking for battery packs? Just fill up a fish pond with stingrays. They have a chance to produce batteries every single day. Have you ever lost an item by accident? Well, no need to worry. There is a lost and found box in Mayor Lewis's manor. This is helpful when you forget to collect your grunge display items. You can buy a statue of endless fortune at the casino for 1 million gold. This statue will produce love gifts and other really useful items. Unfortunately, this is a a pure convenience item as it will take 8 years to pay for itself. Before Stardew Valley was released, the game was incredibly different during the development phase. For example, Alex was going to be called Josh and they looked very different. I am quite happy with how Josh, uh, I mean Alex turned out. Stardew Valley was also planned to have procedurally generated dungeons. It looks like it could have added a very fun and interesting randomness to the current dungeon diving. Stardew the valley was developed with an animal butchering system, and the system is currently still in the game today. There are mods that
that simply activate this existing system. Concerned Ape said it just felt wrong because you take these animals from babies and you pet them and then what? You butcher them? During development, this game used to have a luck stat and some of the proposed professions would increase your average daily luck or even remove the chance of getting a bad luck day altogether. Stardew Valley was going to be called Sprout Valley but Concerned Ape changed it because Stardew just sounded better. The core mechanics of Stardew Valley were actually complete around 2012, but Concerned Ape decided to spend 4 years polishing the game and redoing all of the art. All of that effort definitely shows. 50 Stardew Valley facts for 50,000 subscribers. Hopefully you found some of these facts interesting and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I will continue to make tons of videos and hopefully I will not disappoint you. But for now, I will see you in the next video.